Okay, let's show you how to create a page button or a button that opens up to a new page or a category, or sometimes people call it a new file. But what we're going to do is create a button called color or colors. And when we touch on it, it will open up to a page and we'll create buttons that say blue, green, purple, whatever you want, all the colors. Okay, real simple. You touch on edit. Now what you can't see is that the very last button on this grid will have a green plus sign on it. It will every time you touch on edit. And that's because this, because this is page is longer than can appear on the page. So you're not seeing it. So if you slide up, there it is. So I'll touch here on the green plus sign. Here's a choice, add a button or add a page. We're going to be adding a page. It's going to be called colors. So we hit add. The label, we'll call it colors, text to speak, we'll also call that colors. Now this is interesting, when you choose a button that opens up a new page, you can choose whether you want it to speak or not speak, and you can turn that on or off. You can decide whether you want, when you touch the colors button, whether it's going to show up on the message bar or not, and you can turn that on or off. So let's turn both of those off so it won't speak. We'll just, actually we'll have it speak, but not put it up on the message bar. Now, importantly, because this is a page button, it's opening up a new page, we need to choose how many rows and columns we want. And we can slide this back and forth. The margin is the gap between the, between the uh, buttons. So, there's, so they're not flush together. You can create a little gap between them. So we'll say uh, 15 or 14. And the next thing we're going to do is select the symbol. Let's choose one of the symbol stick symbols. And up here, I'm going to type in their color. And we have quite a few choices here. So I'm going to say, I'll take that one. And the other things, background colors and text and fonts, you know, we can play with that all day long if we want, but uh, I'll just make it bold. I'll do nothing else. Go up to the top and I hit done. Now, before I do, remember, I created a button called colors. It's going to open up a new page, which is a four by four grid, which is 16. And I can change this later if I want. I just go edit, I touch on this button, I can change the rows and columns. Okay, done and done. Okay, you'll see it's down here. Let me show you how you can move it. We can move any button anywhere on the page. And the way to move a button in TalkTab is you press and hold on it, hold your finger really still, don't wiggle. And then as you move it up here, that's where it will stay. Okay, so here's our button and I showed you how to move them. You wanna move it again, press and hold, hold your finger really still. There you go. Now, if I touch on colors, colors, you heard it say colors, and we have a blank page because we haven't added any buttons to it yet. So to do that, like we did in the first example, edit, there's the plus sign. I touch on it. Is this going to be a button or a page? This is going to be a button, and we're going to call it blue. And we're going to say blue. I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it a symbol. I'll select symbol. I'm going to type in here blue. And I'll take one of these. There's blue. Done. Done. When I touch on it, blue. How simple is that? Let's add another one. Edit. There's the one, the last button has a plus sign. We're going to add a button. We're going to call it green. You'll notice that I didn't type anything in text to speak. If I leave it blank, it knows you will just want to, to use that. So you don't have to type it twice if you don't want. You can also make it silent. I'll show you what happens if I do that. And symbol, I'll use a symbol stick symbol. We're going to choose green. And uh, let's take, uh, here we go, we'll use that one too. I hit done and I hit done. You notice it didn't speak because I've turned on do not speak. But if I touch up here, blue green, can you see the difference? If I go into edit on green, edit button, I had silent turned on. I'll turn it off and done. 
Green, blue. Green, blue. That's how simple it is to add a page button. And there it is.